Do not blindly trust large language models as in ChatGPT. Large language models have a problem called hallucination, which means they sometimes output information that is not actually true. For example, you could ask ChatGPT to come up with some specific case numbers that relate to someone running a red light at a famous street in New York City, and it might come up with a series of case numbers. However, those might not actually be real case numbers. What a large language model does is it samples from a distribution of words and puts that as an output. So in the case of like a number, it would potentially just output, if it doesn't actually have a specific number associated with that case that it knows very well, it might just output a random string of numbers that are actually in line with the distribution of how those numbers normally look. Maybe it's the same length of number, but it's actually not a real case number. So take everything you read from ChatGPT with a grain of salt. It's good to verify, and I really like to use ChatGPT for things that I've already learned to brush up my knowledge or to create an exhaustive list. For example, I wrote a article on factors that go into determining how much training a large language model costs. And I wrote a list of ideas that I had already and then asked it to fill in some remaining points that I had missed. I was able to verify that the points that I outputted weren't hallucinations because I'd already learned it before. The problem of hallucinations is improving and there are some ways to mitigate it, which I can talk about in upcoming videos, but be aware.